Hey, it's Clay. Welcome to another video. This is going to be a guide for Valorant. For those of you that are new to the game, you may be experiencing some difficulty with your aim. Valorant is a pretty hard game, and the aim that it requires is pretty severe, and so hopefully this can help you guys get on the right track. This is going to be a multi-part series focused on beginners to make sure that you've got uh, all the right building blocks in place. You can start building some muscle memory, and with some I think good guidance and with some hard work there's really no reason why you can't develop some really excellent aim. So uh, what I want to start off with today is talking about some of the basic foundational fundamentals that you need to have in terms of your computer to be optimized. Uh, some of these settings are like I said basic and foundational. Getting th these things in place will really help you get on the right track and, and without them, it might actually be difficult to develop really good skills. So uh, first, we're going to talk about sensitivity with controlling your mouse. Now, with your controlling your mouse, there's really three different things that you need to be paying attention to. And one, the first one is your Windows setting. The second is going to be your DPI. And then the third is going to be your in-game sensitivity. And we're going to cover each one. So to starting with your Windows setting, you can see I'm just on my base home screen here. And I've gone to my settings menu, and I just typed in mouse. And it gave me this line here. You need to go to additional mouse options. You need to go to pointer options. Now I'm looking at this select a pointer speed and enhance pointer precision. You really want to make sure that this is not checked. Enhance pointer precision will add uh, mouse acceleration. Now mouse acceleration refers to when you're moving your mouse on your mouse pad. Say I'm moving it from left to right. If I move it maybe two centimeters, if you have mouse acceleration that distance is going to not only be tied to the distance that you move it, the two centimeters, but it's going to be tied to the speed at which you move it. Meaning if you move really quickly, it's going to move faster. Whereas if you move really slowly, it's going to move less of a distance. And you don't want that. You want it to be that no matter how fast you move your mouse, if you move it from this point on your mouse pad to this point on your mouse pad, it doesn't matter if you go fast or if you go slow. That the physical distance that you're moving your hand always translate to the same amount of movement of your cursor on your screen. So you want to disable enhanced pointer precision. You also want to keep an eye on these sliders here. There are 11 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. You want it right here. On This is number 6 out of 11, just slightly above halfway. And the reason that you want that is by changing this pointer speed, you actually can mess with the number of like movements uh, of pixels that the mouse moves and, and it can create some instability especially if you go faster that can start introducing some more mouse acceleration I think if you move it slower it can be okay but uh, going faster is not something that you want to be doing but uh, this is pretty critical that you get this set up first then second we want to start talking about DPI DPI is a setting on your mouse and every mouse is a little bit different the one that I have currently on this computer comes with some software where I can actually control some of these things and what you want to do now is use your DPI and this, some of this is kind of a personal preference but use your DPI to get the mouse to function well so that the, when you move it just while you're using your computer it's comfortable you know while you're moving around scrolling doing things that it is a basic comfortable sensitivity that you're happy with now, I, the way I've chosen to set my mouse up, I've got some different presets here. I'm only using these three, where I can go 500, 750, and 1,000. Uh, I, I think for the most part, you want to be keeping your DPI somewhere in that range, maybe 200 to 1,000. Uh, but again, this is kind of based upon personal preference as far as how you want to use your mouse with your computer to be comfortable. And so I actually have this where I can switch between things a little bit using my mouse buttons. But you, know, you kind of want to pick a DPI that you're comfortable with and you're happy with and you can move forward. So then what you do next is talking about setting up your sensitivity in game. Alright guys, this is going to be the next step in taking, you've already set your window sensitivity, you've already set your DPI, now how do we set your in-game sensitivity? Well one good starting point is you want to really be able to do a 180 degree turn. So 180 degrees means if you're facing forwards, if you do a 180 degree turn you'll be going backwards now. And then 360 would be going all the way around, so you're, if you were facing forwards, now you're facing forwards yet again. So you want to be able to do a 180 degree turn. Now in Valorant, I think huge 
turns and, and sprays like that maybe aren't that applicable, but you might have situations where you maybe get flanked from behind and you need to be able to turn around quickly and do a 180 degree turn. So you want to at least be capable of doing that. You don't want your sensitivity so slow that you don't have physical space with your arm and your mouse pad. So let's just watch this player do this test for a little bit. You can see he's flicking. He, now you watch that he's starting here on the left side of his mouse pad. Now again, he's got a big mouse pad. If you've got a smaller one, you might want to use the physical boundaries of your mouse pad. But this is more based upon where he's comfortable. So he's kind of going to the left side, and then he's flicking to do the 180 degree turn pretty much all the way off, and then resetting. So this is a good test that you can do. And if you if you are if you do this kind of a test for what you feel like should be a 180 degree turn, and you're overshooting it or undershooting it, you can adjust your sensitivity accordingly. But this is at least a good starting point that you should be able to do 180 degree turns with the space of your mouse pad. All right, guys. So next, you want to get into the practice range, and if you can see here, there actually is in the middle of the screen an aim sensitivity area, and this is really nice to be able to quickly dial in by just shooting these bolt, these buttons. But after you've done the 180 degree turn test, I would recommend just trying to shoot some bots. And what you'll maybe observe and what you're looking for is how kind of quickly and easily can you snap to your target. You can see that one I kind of undershot, that one I overshot. So you're trying to pay attention to when the bot comes on your screen and you move left or right to find the head, do you go past, that's an overshot, or do you go short, that's an undershot. And you want to pay attention. I mean, if you're close, if you're hitting some, maybe some you're over, maybe some you're under, if you're close, then you know you're feeling pretty good about where you're at. But if you're consistently overshooting or undershooting, then you know you need to make a change. So as we let this play a little bit more, just pay attention to, that one was slightly over, that one was slightly over, that one was pretty good. You know, so just kind of, that was a little under. Just pay attention to if you are st establishing a pattern of overshooting or undershooting your target. And you can take that information and use that to tell you if you need to raise or lower your sensitivity accordingly. And then really from there, my last tip is very simple. You just want to put in the hard work. You know, continue to let this play, clip play out. Um, once you have established these basic tips and you've got a good baseline of sensitivity, you just need to put in the time to master it. And, and really, I think it's more it's not so much about finding the perfect sensitivity as much as it is finding a good one and then making it perfect through practice and hard work. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and let me know your thoughts down below, and I'll see you again soon. Thanks, bye.